Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday, November 7th, 2018. Welcome to another edition of Talking Finchburg Post-Election Day. Everybody a little tired. Maybe stayed up last night, watched the results coming in. Or maybe you're like me and trying to keep the baby quiet so your wife could get some sleep. Either way, welcome. Either way. Either way. Or you were like Andrew and you fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> you were, you were in and then you were out. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Just oh. like that. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Andrew, how are you doing today? We're doing well. Doing well. Doing Your voice right. is sounding a little bit better. It's a little better. Like I, I'm, up. I'm surprised because this morning it was pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah. that's waking up. So yeah. well, I but think it's, it's feeling better. I was getting a little I'm worried. Okay. I thought you might not be here by the end I have more of the, of the uh, sniffles now at this point. So mm-hmm. I'm like, if I have a runny nose, I'm okay with that. That's not bad. I don't not want the other stuff. So we're doing okay. Hanging in there. <laughs> I know you've got Gotta, a uh, you got a really busy week going on uh, outside <laughs> of work here. So yes. you're just as uh, long as I make it through Sunday, then then we're good. Then life gets better. And yeah. Then it calms down a little bit. Yeah. So well, that's good to hear. Uh, we've got a lot to get to today uh, yeah. in the show. Uh, Elections we'll get, they happened. They they happened. Uh, <laughs> we'll we'll give you a, a kind of a quick update. Uh, we mm-hmm. don't have results today. Um, I mean, you saw the results out there, but uh, yeah. Fitchburg's results uh, will be really soon. But uh, we'll talk about that coming up in headlines. Mm-hmm. Winter weather, wa- winter weather awareness week. I can't believe it. I can. It's halfway here. <laughs> After this last like rain and then switch to this cold, uh, yeah, it's here. It's here. So be we'll talk prepared. about it. <laughs> We're going to get you prepared. Yes. Uh, talking about that and then mm-hmm. uh, getting you prepared for another thing in our uh, guest segment, the Fish Hatchery Road. Uh, uh, project and the next meeting number two number two, number two. we'll talk about that mm-hmm. uh, and good yeah just just the stuff got stuff got stuff so let's get to it let's. and uh we're gonna start off with talking about elections uh and uh as i marked it on here it's election thank yous yeah that's right uh talk to patty our uh clerk here and uh they are uh, still uh still putting things together here and uh soon they will have uh the fitchburg uh, results uh, they'll be coming soon to the website, so uh, we'll be on the lookout for that and share that as soon as that uh, uh, comes out. Uh, she said it was a great turnout uh, in the city uh, for uh, this uh, midterm election season, so uh, we'll give you that information as soon as it comes out as well. And uh, Patty wanted to say, uh, well, say thank you to all the poll workers out there uh, for their hard work uh, through uh, yesterday and through the whole election proce- process. Same with uh, city staff here, those clerks working very hard. And all <laughs> today I came in talking to them, and uh, they yeah. said, why didn't you bring in coffee, Jeremy? <laughs> and I said, I'm really sorry, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, they were all here until this morning mm-hmm. of some standard. So. Exactly. Yeah, I was like, I, I did ask them, them like, like uh, so did you get to go home uh, you know, yesterday? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, wait, this morning? <laughs> this morning, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, either way, thank you. Thank uh, you, poll workers. Thank you, everybody uh, involved, and thank you for getting out and voting, yes. uh, Fitchburg. You Absolutely. did good, and uh, I said we'll get you those results uh, as soon as they uh, post up here uh, in Fitchburg. All right, other uh, news for the day. Uh, Verona Area School District Attendance Area Advisory Committee meeting uh, happening, uh, and it is uh, tonight. It's at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Central Office Boardroom, 700 North Main Street in Verona. And, uh, yeah, the Verona Area School uh, Board of Education has formed an attendance advisory committee, the AAAC, to develop recommendations regarding elementary and middle school boundaries to take effect starting the 2020-2021 school year. This work is in preparation for the district's facility projects being completed following our success uh, successful April 2017 referendum. These projects will allow for the lift and shift of five schools, Badger, uh uh, Badger Middle School, Core Knowledge Center School, Verona Area International School, Sugar Creek Elementary, and New Century Charter School. Two new locations while closing two buildings and adding a new high school. All meetings are open to the public and will be held at the Central Office Boardroom, 700 North Main Street in Verona. All committee information and resources will be shared on the website as well. So there you go. You have been up dated so hopefully you can make it out to uh, one of those i got a couple of those meetings coming up so stay tuned for that all right we've got uh, a uh, a grand uh, opening ribbon cutting and uh, luncheon at madhouse trampoline park and entertainment experience doesn't that sound like a lot of fun andrew 
This is uh, going to be tomorrow, November 8th at 12 o'clock p.m. Madhouse Trampoline and Entertainment Experience is at 2700 Novation Parkway in Madison. Please join uh, this great uh, new local business for their pre-grand opening ribbon cutting and luncheon. Luncheon will be catered by Liliana's. Well, I'm in. And a Spotted Cow Beer. I'm in again. And Cake from Rolling Pin Bake Shop. I'm in three times. Well, not only <laughs> do you, you might want to do all your trampoline stuff before you before you <laughs> before eat. do yeah. the lunch uh, mm-hmm. part of it. But uh, the event starts at noon with a ribbon cutting at twelve fifteen. We will have a crew out there for you, and we'll bring you uh, what the new digs look like. Uh, mm-hmm. And I believe it's the old Rock and Jump, so it's another trampoline house in the same building. Gotcha. So new owners, mm-hmm. new owners, new uh, new facility, new stuff. Yep. Yeah. So looking forward uh, taking you out there. Uh, tomorrow well i guess it'll be friday when we bring it to you but because it'll be happening tomorrow during this time yep. right? yeah all right uh veterans day uh uh program coming up here this is coming up on friday yeah fitchburg singers mm-hmm. will be singing songs from world war one world war two and the korean war the korean war will be the highlight of this year's program the program will also feature eagle school students this year's guest speaker is Fire Chief Joe Pulvenmacher of Fitchburg uh, Fire Rescue. Chief Pulvenmacher, also an Air Force veteran. The program is open for all to attend. And guess what? If you what? can't make it, yeah. this is at the old call here. Yep. We're going to be broadcasting this live. Yep. Right here on this channel. Yep. On Friday. We'll be doing it. Yep. Andrew is uh, going to be behind the board. He's got uh, Scott and uh, you guys are just going to be Chad. busy. Yep. And Chad. Yep. Sorry. We got us all in. Yeah. So, uh if you can't make it, you can watch it here live, and uh, it's a great program. If you haven't seen it it's before, it's really good. They do a really good job uh, mm-hmm. putting this on, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So fun uh, surprises this year. Mm-hmm. As uh, Jill as as always program. says, Jill Summers from downstairs, or Jill Summers, wow, <laughs> Jill McCone from downstairs. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why that name was in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, she says, you know, once this is done, Doris starts talking about next year. Doris is the director of the singers and puts this on, does a really good job. So it's always a really good program. Yeah, Joe McCone. Joe McCone. So make it out. Yep. Fantastic. All right, Fitchburg Verona Rotary Wine Tasting Fundraiser. We talked about this uh, earlier. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this event's coming up on November 15th. It's at 6.30 p.m. at 10 Pin Alley, 6285 Nesbitt Road in Fitchburg. Cost is $25 advance, $30 at the door. Join the Fitchburg Rotary Club for their ninth annual wine tasting fundraiser. Uh, which helps support local and international programs, including the Verona Area High School Scholarship and Wisconsin Books for the World. Enjoy appetizers and a variety of white and red Italian wines. Beer will also be available if wine isn't your thing. While uh, sipping on wine and visiting friends, be sure to check out the silent auction featuring uh, featuring items from local businesses. You'll also be able to order your new favorite wine and pick them up at the Verona Wine Cellar. And don't worry. You don't have to miss a single down of the Packers game. The Packers taking on the Seahawks that night. The game will be on in the room as well. You must be 21 years to, uh, old. <laughs> Slow down here. Must be 21 years old to participate. No refunds. Space is limited, so purchase your tickets today. All right. Uh, last but not least here uh, in our headlines for the day. Uh, art draws attention to stormwater pollution and solutions. Love that title. Uh, that's right. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, here uh, in the uh, Dane County area, and I, I like how this is written here. I'm going to read this press release here. Uh, next time you visit Henry Vilas Zoo, walk past the Madison Children's Museum, or take a stroll near your local school, you may notice a colorful addition to the storm drains that normally blend into the landscape. And uh, maybe if you're walking past the Fitchburg Public Library, take a peek. Yeah, this is pretty cool. A new storm uh, drain mural program led by the Dane County, the Madison Area Municipal Storm uh, Water uh, Partnership in Dane Arts, Mural Arts, that's D-A-M-A, is using storm drains as a canvas to educate residents about storm water pollution. Uh, this is pretty cool. In Dane County, these storm sewer highways often travel to local waterways without being cleaned, carrying trash, soil, and other pollutants to our lakes, rivers, and streams. 20 murals were painted this year, and there are plans to continue adding murals, uh, more murals in the future years. And this is really cool. Uh, we're going to share the link here to the map. The map shows you exactly where all these are located. And as you're looking here at the Fitchburg Public Library site number 17, we've got one right here. Uh, it's at the bottom. You know where the parking ramp is? Uh, where you enter in on the underground parking, yep. Andrew? Yes. That's where it's at. So. It's on the off-road there. 
So it's not on Lacey. It's on. I'm I blanking that, on that road. Is. I know. Is that research <laughs> at that point? Well, I'd say zoom in, but this is probably a screen grab. This is a screen grab, so yeah, so I can't zoom in. <laughs> no, that's all right. <clears throat> Either way, yeah, that's it's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, check it out. Uh, and look through all the other ones; they're really neat, really neat, all different, unique um, art style. Yeah, the one I was looking at kind of said where the water for this place is going. Yeah, like, one said like six miles down to a mm-hmm. creek of some kind. Yep. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, again, we'll share out the link to uh, the map. So if you want to go check it out, uh, you can do so. Uh, as uh, it is a pretty cool, cool thing. Smart. I, I just don't know why we haven't done this before. It seems really uh, like an easy, great education piece. So, all right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we say don't say the S word on this show, but we have to because we have to talk about Winter Weather Awareness Week. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 